a clockwork orange. Orange rose the dawn in zesty anticipation. Peace would come one day, perhaps this day. Peace is the enjoyment of divine personification, yours, ours, has become one. For God is all in all. In a sense, God consents all his distinctions to the Son, your human nature, shepherding all who believe you through all the perfect distinctions of human life on through the infinite gifts we have not seen. In this imperfect stage of our life, it is suitable to the majesty and purity of God that all your blessings and the receiving of worship be carried by Messiah, the mediator of heaven and earth. Once we sinners are completely reconciled to God and made perfect in holiness and carried to heaven, all your preeminences will bestow your favors on us and receive our worship. Christ retains in his humanity the glory of having created all things and the glory of having saved us and of having destroyed the kingdom of Satan and Satan himself. We will reign with you superior to the highest angels in respect of personal perfection and of the veneration due you for the great things you have accomplished and granting complete unity with us. You are God all in all. Even so, we reign as kings over, with you over all the universe. Let us not suppose that Jesus Christ will not be incom incomparable among men and angels. The great Emmanuel has two natures, without equal in your virtuous character, the glory of your actions and the relation you bear to your people. All that are by faith united to Christ are by your resurrection assured of our own. Immortality was ours in Adam. When fallen, all men became mortal and have from him the same sinful nature. You have purpose in this. We were not to be a bland perfection, perfunctory in holiness, but to be a suffered people, our blood mixed with yours, our coming into our glorified heavenly bodies is not the re reforming of our elements, but a completely new creation, which lives forever. The present state will be ended when the redeemed are first raised. At the last, the wicked will rise also. Then shall we rejoice in the completion of your undertaking that God may receive the whole glory of our salvation, that we may forever serve you and enjoy your favor and companionship. We know nothing of peace. Ours is the clockwork orange, despicable in its violent impulses, straining to the importance of evil as well as good in human nature. Totally total, but goes forever, unaccountable freedom, seeming exuberantly alive, but goes forever unto death. There is no peace on earth, but there shall be. The Prince of Peace came to us in Bethlehem, and then in victory as to Daniel's prophecy on the very day appointed, entered Jerusalem. And all the people lay palms and shouted, Blessed be the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in, glory in the highest. Amen.